Oh, 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 wow. Ooh. <clears throat> I'm Hot Sauce Junkie Tim and a Frino Pepper. Today shows me a sauce review that was actually won on a giveaway from two great friends of mine, two awesome people, two chili heads. Dark and Bella from Heat 101. They're doing a giveaway, and uh, one of the bottles that won was this right here Gator Hot Sauce from Pucker Butt Pepper Company. Ed Curry, founder and CEO of Pucker Butt Kemp, Pepper Butt Pepper Company. If you guys don't know who Ed Curry is, he discovered the Carolina Reaper. Enough said. So, anyways, um, <clears throat> Darker Bell, thank you so much for doing the giveaway. And beyond grateful that I was selected to win this bottle. And uh, I'm looking forward to this one, guys, because this one... Apparently, from what I've heard and read, this thing ranks up there as one of the hottest sauces that's on the market right now. And why is that? Well, the very first ingredient that's listed is Pepper X. What's Pepper X? Well, I talked about the Carolina Reaper, correct? That's the hottest pepper, according to Guinness. Well, now Pepper X is apparently hotter than that. <sighs> yeah. Okadogi. Let's check out the ingredients besides the pepper X, which is listed first. You guys know when the, whatever's listed first is the most dominant ingredient in the sauce, and that's pepper X. This is pepper X mash, yellow super hot mash, distilled vinegar, and pepper powder. That's it. It's peppers, peppers, a little bit of vinegar, and more peppers. And they'll throw some pepper powder on top of it, right? All right, while I'm opening this, a little, little history on Ed Curry. Like I said, he is the founder of the, or the creator, I should say, of the Carolina Reaper. So online here, it says that uh, pretty much a reporter came to his place of business, had a little piece of the Carolina Reaper, and, uh, and I quote, rolled on the floor, hallucinated, and then shared his experience with the national media. That was the, that's the reporter's quotes online here so outside of that like I said the Carolina Reaper is the hottest chili in the world measuring over 1.64 million Scoville heat units it's a little on the warm side eh all right so I've seen this online before guys um, it, it's it's ranked up there with the hottest sauces in the market. I'm definitely looking forward to this. Um, <sighs> cool color. It's got like a, a like a dark mustard color. All right, so I'm checking out the label here. It's cool. I love the Gator Mouth. There's Pucker Butt Pepper Company's label. Oh, also this right here. That is one kick-ass decal. The website on the side of the bottle here is www.pucker.com. PuckerbuttPepperCompany.com. It's got like a tongue twister. It's a Puckerbutt Pepper Company. Try saying it five times in a row. I bet you can. I know I can. So I will drop the link down below if you guys would like to order yourself this hot sauce. All right, let's check out the aroma on this bad boy here. No flow restrictor. Thank you. The aroma's got like a like a like a fruity tart. Like I don't smell a lot of the pepper in it which uh, might be on the concerning side. Let's check out the pour here. Pour is pretty thin. I am seeing some seeds in there, which is good. Again, the color, it's kind of got like a color of like, like a mud puddle, you know? Cool. This will be the first sauce I've had with Pepper X. <sighs> Let's do this. Ho, ho. 
Oh, wow. Ooh. <clears throat> That's goose bumpy. Holy smokes. Mm. Wow. Ain't no joking on that one, guys. Mm. All right. That one surprised me. So, <clears throat> that was on the shocking side. That thing hits you hard in the throat. So, my tongue, my mouth, my lips, insides of my cheekbones, nothing. And no burn whatsoever. The throat, oh, damn, that's hot. <clears throat> That is a hot one. Mm. <clears throat> the cool thing about this, guys, is when I first tasted it, the fruit of the pepper was like, okay. And then it just, it, wow, the throat just got fried. All right, food. What am I going to put this on? The first thing I thought I'm putting this on, guys, was breakfast eggs. You guys don't wake yourself up, wake yourself up in the morning. Put this on some breakfast eggs. This, this ain't no joke. This is this is hot. <clears throat> That's the first thing I'm thinking of. But you could you could put this on um, some wings. Um, you can make it for a dipping sauce with some French fries. That's just me. Those are the first things that came to mind. All right, also with this sauce, it instantly peaked really quickly and now it just crashed down. Um, it really shocked me with the heat. The flavor's outstanding. I love, love that, that tartness that I first got out of the sauce. It's really, really good. Um, <clears throat> but it's hot. All right, heat scale for me. Um, I'm thinking because it peaked so quickly and it, it it crashed pretty quickly, but um, a heat for me, this is for a sauce, I'm definitely going to give this this a uh, very high five. I wish I could have, I didn't see any, but I've actually felt like you left thing to eat with goosebumps, like when you get, when you get cold with goosebumps, that's, a, that's exactly what happened when I had this. It was, this was hot, guys. But um, the cool thing is the burn doesn't last very long. So... <clears throat> If you guys are interested in trying out this hot sauce, um, get a hold of Puckerbutt Pepper Company. I'll drop the website down below. Um, Ed Curry is one of the most genuine people. Um, he's just a good dude, and I'm very disappointed that I not get to meet him at the Chicago Hot Sauce Expo two years ago. Uh, apparently, he was there, and I did not get to meet him. So Ed Curry, someday, <clears throat> someday, thank you Ed Curry for not only making the hottest pepper in the world, but I made one even hotter, and on top of it, he made a kick-ass sauce out of it. He won one, Dark about thanks to doing the giveaway. Grateful that, uh, grateful that I got to try this out finally. Uh, this is hot, guys. This is definitely hot. So next time, hot sauce, Chucky Tim, and a Frito pepper. Have a good one.